If you're taking Algebra 2 next year and you're worried because you didn't even know it was going on in Algebra 1, don't worry, I got you. So we have a system of equations, y equals 2x minus 1 and 2x plus 3y equals negative 7. Since we already have an equation that's equal to one of the variables, we can take this part of the equation, 2x minus 1, and plug that in to y in our second equation, and that's going to be called the substitution method. So once we do that, we'll have 2x plus 3 times parentheses 2x minus 1 is equal to negative 7, and now we can just solve for x. So we're going to distribute the 3 to both terms to get 6x minus 3, and we can bring down our 2x and our equal sign and our negative 7, and now we can combine like terms. So that's going to give us 8x minus 3 is equal to negative 7. Now we're going to add 3 to both sides, and that's going to give us 8x is equal to negative 4. Now we can divide by 8 on both sides to get x is equal to negative 4 over 8, which reduces to negative 1 half. So we know that x is equal to negative 1 half. Now we can take this number and substitute it in for x in our first equation. So once we do that, we'll have y is equal to 2 times parentheses 1 over 2 minus 1. So 2 times negative 1 half is negative 1. And then we bring down our minus 1. So negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. So y is equal to negative 2. So that means our full solution set would be negative 1 over 2, comma, negative 2, and that would be our answer.